Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days Valencia. It's me, JD Sensei. How are we doing? I'm just getting some stuff together. I made a bunch of frames, too. I do have to chop down one of my tree farms today. I should probably... I should probably snatch out my chainsaw, too. Now that I think about it. Where the hell did I leave my chainsaw? Oh, crap. What did I do with it? I put it somewhere. Probably in here. Yeah, it's right in here. You know, pay attention, J.D., to the freaking chainsaw that's right there. Let me get some gas. Which is up here. Give me two of these. Thank you. Uh, that'll come later. Well, I, maybe we'll just start off with that. Start off with the tree farm. Knock that down. It's just... Because I notice wood is getting a little low. So give me the bonk matic Give me the bonk matic We'll uh, bonk anybody that gets in our way. All right, so last episode, we started the second farm. And I'm using what very little... Uh, uh, very little resources I had. I had some poo, so only about 28. So I am slowly making that. All right, let's swap hammer for the chainsaw. All right, I guess we'll take this one down. Jump in here. Gas this bad boy up and chop her down. There we go. gas already. <laughs> Oop. Got ahead of myself. There we go. Pop that bad boy out of there. Let's get these in here. Replant. How much did that net us? Oh, that's not bad. That's like 18,000, 19,000. And that one will be ready in a day or two. So that'll keep me going. So I figure I'm going to need wood eventually. So I got to start working on the... Uh, Pathing. I really want to get this side done first. You know, the entrance update here. So, uh, we will, uh, once I run out of concrete, which probably won't take that long, uh, once I run out of concrete, I'll, uh, move over to the, uh, other farm we're going to build. That'd make more sense, I would assume. All right, there we go. Drop that off. There we go. One tree farm knocked down. We got another one up. But I figure, well, I'll start uh, shoveling in and putting in the frames. And uh, I mean, it's I can do roughly around 300 frames, huh? We can do quite a few frames. All right, let's get the wooden frames out. Let's get the shovel in, and let's throw these in. It's, it's Turn that on for a second. 
Okay, we'll go a little bit at a time. And then, like I said, well, once we run out of concrete, we got plenty of wood now. So we can go work on the uh, other farm. We have to. Oh, shit. Damn it. Don't do that. Stupid ass hit detection. Pay attention to where you're supposed to hit. What the? Mm. Pissing me off. Yeah. I think this is going to look so much better, though, once it's completely concreted up all the way. Is it a waste? Probably. Do I care? No. Definitely don't care. I want a nice looking base. You guys know that. Yeah, so uh, probably won't be today or tomorrow, but uh, after I'm done recording for the week, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or Monday, um, which today is Saturday night for me. Um, but I'm going to start working on uh, redoing my banner. I have a... I, Totally wasted time at work and looked up a few things that I want to use for the banner. I just got to mesh them all together. One of the funny things I saw is like um, when I was looking around for uh, what I wanted to make the banner, and they're like, uh, hey, buy this banner maker for six, six, seven dollars. And I'm like, what? Yeah, they, they're selling a banner maker for YouTube for six bucks. I'm like, or. Or I could just go, you know, I think it's 2560 by 1440 pixels, go find a free image that I want to use. And then uh, I have a couple other images I want to use and then overlay them, you know, in editing, which is standard on Windows. I can't see how I couldn't figure out how to do all that. I'm not telling you it's going to be like this huge, awesome, super duper thing, but I'm like, for what I want to do, what the hell would I want to pay for it? I just can't understand some of that. I mean, hey, more power to them if they can get people to spend money on it. But I'm like, I'm more than happy. I, I get an idea of what I want, and then I just go look and find what I want, and then figure out how to put them together. Uh, I don't understand why you... And a lot of that stuff is like, oh, yeah, just pay this much, and... I looked at some of the stuff on it just out of curiosity and like nothing they had on one of them asset wise worked. So I'm like, that's what I, I took a look at that first just to see, uh, you know, it's like, well, maybe it's easier. So I took a look and I was like, oh, well, let me see what they got. And I didn't like anything they had. And I'm like, what the fudge? So I just took a look around. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm pretty sure if I bang my head against it enough, I'll figure out how to make what I want, or at least get me something I'm satisfied with. And whatever, it'll be a little adventure. Because I'm not artistically inclined. You know, I can't draw my own stuff. I can, I mean, I can hold my own, but I am not uh, like on the level of a fan artist or something. So I can understand people want that. Once you get a bigger channel, yeah, obviously. Maybe you want to commission somebody to do something for you like that, like an animated, uh, an, an animated opening or something like that. That is beyond my purview, you know, for right now. But artistically speaking, yeah, like I, I have ideas, but I'm one of those people I have ideas and I can explain it to an artist but then when if I were to try to do it it wouldn't come out the way I want all right so what that do for my concrete dough oh yeah we're gonna make some serious headway here I just have to keep dropping the swapping the stuff out but yeah I figure I'm gonna do that this weekend I don't have a lot I need to do. I mean, again, I got to do four episodes in the next 20 hours and a live stream. Uh, but, it, you know, people are like, oh, that's too much. People at work are like, that's too much. It's like, bro, 
You know what I would do is if I wasn't uh, recording or streaming today, I'd be playing a different video game until about 10 p.m. Just saying. It's just what I'm doing. It, you know? It's just the game I'm playing is different than what I would uh, be playing otherwise. Basically, I'm still playing Yakuza. I'm still playing uh, My Time at Sandrock. Uh, I'm doofing with other things. I don't know why, but I, I, I got the No Man's Sky itch again. Uh, that one's pretty easy. Uh, install the game, play for a few hours, itch, scratch, scratch, and then I uh, don't play it for a while and then notice it's on the hard drive and delete it again. And, you know, it's a vicious circle. But I am thinking I do want to have uh, No Man's Sky loaded up for when I'm on vacation. So I'm not going anywhere this time. I'm just going to chillax at the house, you know, chill out. I've got a few things I want to do. And I told you all last time I got back into lifting, so I got to do that tonight, too. That's always fun. At least I feel better, you know? That's really the reason I did it. So it's starting to starting to not feel great at night, you know? Like, right before I go to sleep, I got too much energy, stuff like that. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just start lifting. Burn off some of that energy, you know? And that's what I went for. We'll see if I keep it up. One of the things is I always end up... I, I'm purposely not adding a ton of weight. I went a little lighter than what I used to lift at. You know, like doing the uh, doing curls on like 30 pounds instead of I used to do uh, 38. I'm like, oh, it's probably better to keep it at a lower one because I would always, you know, increase the weight way too fast. And I end up tearing something and then I don't lift for six months because, you know, I never worry about uh, definition either. Like my friends are like, "Oh, bro, you know, uh, you know, you ain't got those massive biceps." I, I was like, "Bro, I've never had those. I've got uh, at, I got that average, you know. I don't know. I, I think I have dad bod, to be honest." Uh, but even when I was uh, young, you know, like in my tw in my uh, early 20s in the Marines, even when I uh, ran like uh, a six-minute mile, you know, PFTs, uh, back when I was in, it was, uh, you ran three miles and the best, uh, the best time was uh, 18 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. That was a perfect score uh, on the running portion. So that's a six-minute mile. And I think the best I ever ran was like, I don't know, 17, 17, 4, 17, 5, something like that total. But yeah, and uh, I, I was like, I, I, even when I was at, that was the peak, 18, running those things, you know, 20 pull-ups. Could do them one-handed if I wanted to. Didn't matter. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I was one of those people. I did not get buff. I, I, I believe the term I used to mess around and, you know, joke, uh, mockingly refer to myself as wiry. <laughs> I'm not wiry anymore. Definitely not. At my heaviest, which was, I want to say, uh, maybe about 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, I'm older than most of you. Uh, but at my heaviest, I think I got up to two. 55, and that was way too much. All uh, right, now I hover around uh, 212. Honestly, I can thank my damn job for that, as much as I don't want to. I can honestly thank my job for that. I may look unhealthy half the time, and that's because I eat crap. Uh, I'm trying to eat a little bit better. But one thing I can tell you, any of you that are, you know, want to suddenly change, don't change everything at once. Like, uh, my brother was giving me crap. Uh, you know, he's just fun at me, but he's like, yeah, I noticed you ate the last 
two cookies. I bought a 12 pack of cookies, um, chocolate chip about from a bakery about uh, last weekend. I had like three, and I left it. And he's like, I noticed you ate the last two. I was like, bitch, two. That means you ate the other seven. Leave me alone. But uh, um, he was like, yeah, you got that. You got the protein drink for lifting, but you, you still bought like some uh, some. I think I bought apple fritters uh, for the weekend. I was like, yeah, dude, that's for three days. And I don't care. Uh, I'm not changing my diet. I, I, it's like I made a deal with myself. I'll throw in a salad every year. Uh, every two or three days but one of the worst things you can do is trying to change everything at once you know i'm going to change everything yeah i'm going to lift four times a week and then i'm going to eat right you know i'm going to uh stop drinking or smoking one of the things i uh, i used to smoke i used to be a pack a day smoker way back when i still i, I vape now but um and I quit for about two years, too. Uh, everything. And I chewed tobacco for a while, too. So I did it all uh, when it comes to nicotine. But uh, And I don't advise anybody try it. It's still a drug. It's not good for you. But uh, I was a pack-a-day smoker when I was in the Marines. So I'm running freaking six-minute miles and smoking a pack-a-day. So, you know. Give a boy some props. I mean, that wasn't the smartest thing I ever do. Probably put years on my lungs, but it was, it was whatever. But um, I, I remember, and it didn't work, just so you know, but I went to a smoking cessation class. And the first thing they told us, because we had several people in there who were heavy drinkers too, and they're like, look, you either got to pick one or the other. Don't try and do both. Because you definitely fail both. That's just the way it is. It's one of those things. Like the, when I quit smoking for uh, like three years, I literally did it cold turkey. Then that worked. Uh, one of the things I, I know though uh, is it's alcoholism and nicotine to a lesser extent. But uh, once you are an alcoholic, such so uh, you know a user, for lack of a better word. You're always one, even if you haven't touched one. I saw my mother when my uh, cousin died. She had quit smoking when my brother and I were very young. Very, very young. But um, I, th I don't think I saw her smoke a cigarette after I was like eight years old. My cousin died when it was like in an accident. He died when it was like, uh, saw him just getting a vape. God, I had to be like, it had to be 15 years for her, but at the funeral, somebody offered her a cigarette and she just lit it up and went to town. She didn't start again, but, you know, there was no hacking and hawing. It wasn't like the first time she ever did it. It's like she never left. And she used to tell her, she's like, man, I could have started up right there. <laughs> so that's how it is. But the point, the whole point was that me and my tangent, um, uh, what it has to do with exercise is you don't change everything at once because I can guarantee you it's a lot harder if you decide to do that. It's a hell of a lot harder to change everything and then decide, oh, uh, I'm going to stick to this. Now, more than likely, you're going to fall off. And because you were trying to do too much, it's going to be a hell of a shock to your body. That's the other thing. It is a big ass shock to your body. If all of a sudden you go from, let's say, uh, uh, you know, eating this way and um, getting up. It's the same as if you change your sleep schedule to like, if I went from early mornings to overnight, you know, with no transition time in between, my body would be messed up for at least four or five days until it figured out what the hell was going on. And I wouldn't be able to maintain that. So I'd like ask for like a week off and slowly adjust my schedule over. So the whole thing with lifting, though, is like uh, I'm just going to lift. I'll drink a protein drink with it. I'll, have a, I'll go light meals at dinner instead of heavy meals, and, you know, so I'm not freaking starving to death. But I won't, uh, you know, decide like every single day of the week is going to be like 
uh, I don't want to say steak and eggs, but like, uh, remember the like it's pasta. We're not gonna, you know, two days out of the week I'll go. Uh, I'll do a a salad or something. But I'm not doing every day lean chicken, redo everything. My body will be like, yo, where the good stuff at? And eventually I'll just get tired of doing that because it also end up being a very strict diet. I did keto for three months once. That was a tough damn three months, I tell you. I did good on it. But that's usually the reason people rebound so bad is because it's very hard to stay that. I mean, this way, if I uh, if I stick with it for a month or so, I'll uh, keep the weight at the same weight. And we'll just go with that and see how far we can get with that. I think I'm going to just balls out and just hollow this whole area out. You know, I would just put in the frames, and if we run out of concrete, that's fine. Pick it up last, we'll get the whole thing done. But, uh, yeah, so... You did not, you little bitch. There's no reason to hit there. There was no reason to hit that low. But it did it anyways. But yeah, uh, that's my take on it. I'm, uh, I'm going to do what I can do, see if it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least I feel better, you know? Which is the number one thing. I just wanted to feel a little better at night. And that's all I can hope for. Hopefully, stay, stay with it. <laughs> My friend's like, you, you trying to get a girl? I was like, bro, no. I, I don't do that. I do stuff for me. I am not trying to preen and impress somebody. If they don't like me for who I am, I'm not going to make myself into something I might not be in a month or so, you know? So I, I mean, yeah, physical attraction is important, you know. It's, I, I've had people that have been interested to me, in me that I like, I didn't even, I was like, I was nice about it, but I'm like, I, you're just not my type. I, I wasn't interested. But, so th there's always a physical element, but, you know, you can get the best looking person in the world, uh, but if you guys... You know, if their personality is trash or their just personality is not something you want to deal with, nope. It's not going to last. And if you're in it for the physical aspect, hey, that's all on you, man. But uh, that's never been my thing. I'm not adverse, but uh, not that damn important to me. Never was. was it's more fun hanging out with people i think so i've been i've had bad luck too i never find gamer girls which is apparently what i need a gamer girl does get harder the older you get too it's like finding a because i came right at the time when you know games were still nerdy so a lot of my age i literally have to aim for slightly younger than me Last couple have been, like, way too young. <laughs> I'm not talking, like, illegal young, but, you know, if I met their parents, we'd be the same age. And I'm like, uh, that's awkward. And they were like, oh, no, 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 my parents are cool with it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, I think I'm good. When I have more in common with your mom and dad than I do with you, yeah, if we really hit it off, but we really didn't, but if we were really, I suppose we could make it work, but, hmm. So, man, no luck, but whatever. One of the great things I think about me is I take it all in stride. Because I'm of the opinion, you know, I could be 70, 80 years old and finally find somebody I want to settle down with. Uh, I'm in no rush. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I'm not not going to sit here and lament about it. There's no point. Bitching solves nothing, just so you know. The only thing it possibly does is let you vent. That's it.
But yeah, I, I I'm literally doing uh, doing the lifting though to, uh, for to make myself feel better. So I think I was just sitting around, like when I do these recording sessions, you know, talking two three hours in the same position, long periods of time, and that's why people get standing desks and stuff like that. No, just get your damn lazy ass up, go out and exercise. It doesn't matter what you do. Go take a walk. It doesn't freaking matter. But sitting on your ass for like four or five hours at a time, granted, I'll do that the first two days of my vacation. I'm not going to lie, but I don't understand uh, office people at all. How? This is the, Those are the people with gym memberships. That's what I'll say. Those are the people that are paying freaking uh, Planet Fitness like 200 bucks a month. It's like, bro. Just go for a walk when you get home. Oh, I'm too tired. You sat on your ass all day. How are you tired? You are not tired. Meanwhile, at 5.30 in the morning, uh, every Tuesday, I get up. Me and my brother get up. We work at the same place. We get up and we go on load a truck. And then we spend the next eight to nine hours breaking that all down, all the product down, getting it to where it needs to go. That's every Tuesday. Uh, we used to have, I have a scanner I use at work. We used to have, a, uh, the company took it off. I'm assuming because they were embarrassed. But uh, we used to have an app on it. You know, when I, uh, I guess they left it from the, at their, uh, I think they're iPods. I forget what the hell they are. But the scanner uh, used to have the uh, fitness app, you know, step tracker on truck days. The days when we did truck, I would average nine and a half miles. Every other day was like between anywhere between five and seven miles every day that I worked. So I worked five days a week. And those five days, that's just the time when I had the scanner on me. If I didn't have the scanner, uh, the walk to and from uh, between public tra transportation and where I need to be. So it's uh, just so you know, the, the, the public transit drops me off. It's a 15 minute walk to where I work. So you do the math, you know, and I'm not a slow walker. So I get tons of exercise. I actually gave uh, one of my coworkers crap the other day, a uh, young girl probably about 19 or 20, but she's like, I can't lift this box. I was like, yeah, you know how you join those other places and they say must be able to lift 50 pounds? And I pointed it out. It was a case of paper. A case of paper weighs legit 50 pounds. How do I know? Because a pallet of paper, when you get them, is 2,000 pounds. And why do I have to know that? Because the elevator I need to move a pallet of paper upstairs can only hold 2,500 pounds. So if they... If the warehouse is coming from or the delivery place is coming from over stacks, I need to fix that. Yes, I, al I also know that the elevator is rated for 2,500 pounds, but was tested at 5,000. I do know this, but word of advice, don't screw with it. Don't overload it repeatedly or you're going to have problems, you know. But yeah, she uh, she's like, man, this is too heavy. I was like, well, there's 39 of them, so you better get used to it real quick. So I tell you what, I've been doing this a long, long time. I think this will be my 12th year, specifically. I mean, I I'm, it took me 12 years to find a position I'm very happy with. By the way, I don't mind the physical labor keeps me fit. Don't worry, we'll actually talk about the game at some point, but I'm pretty sure this is not very exciting. <laughs> uh, so you'd rather, hopefully you're here and you don't mind listening to me ramble for a bit while I uh, slowly slam all this stuff down. But I wanted to get this done. Yeah, that Thought I heard something. You keep it to yourself over there, buddy. Whoever's making noise, probably me. Uh, yeah, I, I like to keep you all updated about what I'm doing. 
Yeah, outside of the game too. You already know I'm uh, I'm big time into Dragon's Dogma. I pretty much made that readily apparent. I was also watching Girl DM the other day. Yes, I watch VTubers. No, I don't care if you want to judge me. Don't give a crap. I watch what I like. Whatever interests me on YouTube. YouTube throws crap into my recommendeds. I watch it and decide I want to watch this stuff. You know? But you're your age and you watch anime girls. Yeah, so I also watch anime. I also read manga. Dying of Fire is what I like to do. I like what I like. I don't uh, conform to your your ideals. Whatever you expect me to be, your expectations will be subverted. I get that all the time in work. They because they you know they see a guy my age. They're like, oh yeah, he's this. And nope, no. Nope. They start talking about, hey. How do you, yeah, I was playing this game, uh, like one guy we had just got Persona 3 Reloaded, keeps begging me, JD, you got to get it, you got to get it, uh, you got to get it. I was like, bro, what part of, I played the PS2 version three times back to back to back, straight through. I played FES, which is the expanded version, you know, with the answer DLC, twice, straight through. I played them on the original PS2. I played it uh, on uh, the re-release uh, that was on the PS4. I played those. I played the uh, the one on the uh, uh, PSP. Was it PSP or Vita? I forget which one it was. The portable. I played that so I could play the FEMC. I played that twice t through. And he's like, yeah, but it's so different. I was like, no, it isn't. It's the graphics are different, yeah, and they use some of the P5 assets, and they used, uh, you know, baton pass and stuff like that. I was like, but the, the story beats and everything are exactly the same, actually minus the answer. I was like, bro, what do you want me to play for? I'm telling him uh, literally how to beat stuff, and I was like, he's like, it's not even hard. I was like, yeah, no, you guys got the dumbed down version. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, OG version. The reason things that made things like crying table hard were not the fact that they were actually hard, really, is the fact you couldn't control your own uh, allies. So you can imagine how bad it is when uh, you know this thing is immune uh, immune to something, and your ally just does something stupid like cast something it's immune to. Or uh, Mitsuru was famous for this, and uh, anybody who played. Uh, Persona 3 will tell you this, back in the old days, she would cast, uh, not, uh, yeah, she would cast Magic Charge or whatever the spell's name is, and then she would cast uh, uh, Marin Karen, which is a freaking charm spell, which is not affected by it, which is just, oh, you know, it was just, none of it was hard, it was just, you know, the game just made itself hard. Uh, that and that uh, random RNG BS that could happen. Like, I see people complaining about uh, Ghastly Whale. I was like, bro, you don't even know. Yeah, the old, it fears, uh, you get feared by one enemy, and then uh, the next one casts Ghostly Whale. I was like, man, that crap's been in there since uh, I go back all the way to um, Persona 2, or Innocent Sin. Uh, I don't remember if it was in there, but I know it was in uh, Nocturne. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Uh, my roommate at the time I came home one day, and he had this depressed look on his face. I was like, what happened? He's like, I don't think I can play Nocturne anymore. Like, what happened? He was, in, uh, he was in a place, I think it was called the Obelisk or something like that. I remember it's a big ass room. It's where the femmes are, the uh, femme clotho and all that. But I warned him that the game, that game likes to back attack you, and it it was actually dumbed down from the Japanese one. I remember that too, because they actually adjusted that stuff. Because back attacks used to happen a lot more often. But he got back attacked by a succubus, and I just like, oh crap! When was your last save? And he's like, three and a half hours. And I'm like, yep, that'll do it. So what happens is uh, a succubus in that game has a spell called Dormina. She'll put you to sleep. And then they'll hit you with another spell. Um, I think it's not Ghastly Whale. I don't remember what it is, but basically it kills anybody that's asleep. 
And if your main character dies, game over. And the, the, the place he was in, I can remember it. I just can't remember the name. It's where you fight o Ose, the, the friggin' tire, tiger with the double swords. Um, yeah, that, no, that's not cool, man. <laughs> you just get screwed over. I'm going to need more concrete, huh? All right, well, that's why we brought the wooden uh, wooden blocks out so we can continue working on the farm over there. All right, so it might, uh, I'll, I'll go through this way and figure it out. But uh, yeah, I was telling him about that game. I was like, you want to see hard? Try that out. He's like, is that the hardest RPG you ever played? I'm like, oh, hell no. Hell no. I want to say the old, uh, on PC, the old uh, Ultima games were probably tougher. How many is it between each one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight, right? Oh, no, don't say, yeah, it's eight. And it's eight from the edge. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to put down eight, which is oh, right there. Okay, let's do this. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two here. And two here. And two, well, this one, two here. And then we can just put this in. Okay, and then we got to do right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Outer perimeter. Okay. That's what we need to do. We get the internal part done first. And it's as easy as uh, lining up the outer walls. I didn't think I had all these uh, plants done out of the way. Yep, but yeah. Uh, and then you just cap that like that. <laughs> Throw this one right here. There we go. And then we can just drag this out here. There we go. And we'll just drag this here and meet them in the middle somewhere. Okay, and then we pop, pop, and pop, pop. Hey. Listen to me. When I say bop, you go bop, bop. Frickin' bird nest. Uh, at least you had that. Okay, give me the hammer. Get the hell out of here. Stupid ass bird nest. I didn't think I went far enough, you know, but... It doesn't really matter, because when I put the dirt in here, it's going to... Uh, gonna screw it all up all right so let's start over here and just start going straight back until we hit grass that's what I was figuring on that happens because I'm going and uh, the thing just decides oh you that's what you wanted to do huh nope that's not what I wanted to do if you go slow, it works, but you have to go real slow. Okay. It's just being lazy, and I don't want to knock these weeds out right now. Nope. Well, thanks for the eggs, guys, I guess. All right. All righty. That looks good. That looks good. Just got to get this part done. We get the lining it out done, you know, uh, the uh, laying it out done, and we can get the internals, you know, the um, the externals done, get those started up the way we want them. There we go. Got all the lining done. Now we can throw this part up. This is a lot easier, since now there's no grass for me to get screwed over on. Okay. Over here now. Hey, 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 hey. Put that back. 
The hell the matter with you? The hell you say? How are we doing on... Ah, we're not doing bad. Okay. I didn't put one there. Good. All right. Next victim. Uh, where did I run? Oh, I was like, where did I run into? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that part. <laughs> All righty. Don't forget, we just put extra forest earth in each one. Which is fine. And then come back this way. There we go. Back we go. That's interesting. Uh, not bad, not bad. I almost had enough stuff for the, uh, enough wood for the whole thing. And now we do this side. And then we'll have it all mapped out, ready to go. Now we are, again, we're not going to put stairs down there because I don't think I'm going to expand it much more than that. There's no real reason to. Because there's no more crops after this much. All right. And I guess we could just leave this open for now. And we'll... Ah, crap. Um, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I was like, I did too much, and then I'm like, oh, well, that'll be under dirt anyway, so we'll pretend that's not there. Once I run out of uh, scrap metal, it'll be easier. For right now, it isn't. I mean, I know I really don't have to do three on this one, but I'd rather have it. I mean, I technically don't even have to do anything more than, you know, I could just bury the frames too, but I'm like, eh, if something happens, for whatever reason, something breaks. I prefer less damage than more damage. All right. And then we'll get this part done. This is why I did this, so I could get out, you know, and then throw that in there. All right. And I'm just going to waste a little. Oh, don't do that. Oh, it's the end of the video already. That sucks. Well, let's see if we get an airdrop. Okay, and this one. Pick that up. I think we're safe. Yeah, Mark safe from airdrops. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. This has been Seven Days to Die of Valencia, the JD Lifts Weight Edition, apparently, because that's all I did was plant some stuff and talk weightlifting and addiction and other stupid crap. I talk about weird stuff. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, leave that like. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you in the next vid. Bye now.